Welcome to another in the continuing series of 4-Minute Fridays by TPM. My name is Bruce Harris and I'm a senior application engineer here at TPM. Now today we're going to make an electrical fixture tag with label, panel, and circuit. Now it's going to be a little more complicated than that. This is actually part two of a two-part series and our first part we made it so that we could have both a horizontal and a vertical label on our receptacles and turn them off and on in properties. Now by turning both of them off in properties, say a GFCI receptacle would have no label. That's where our tag today comes in we want to be able to create a label that will allow us to move that tag along, around along with the panel and circuit number. So let's go to Revit. Now over here in Revit we have the receptacle I was talking about. So this is what we did in our previous 4 minute Friday on this. We have it so I can uncheck and check what I want. So that could be a horizontal labeled, a vertical labeled, or we can turn it off so that it would have neither of them labeled. Now in this case you would probably want to tag that because you do want it to be indicated as a GFCI. So we're going to tag by category and I'm going to turn leader off and tag this. Now obviously it doesn't have the data that that tag was looking for, whatever that tag was looking for. So we're going to edit that tag and make it into what we want it to be. So we're going to edit family, come into this tag and edit our label. And we want the panel name and the circuit number in there. I don't want the type mark. Now the other thing we want is the label and if you look through here you'll see that we cannot find the label here at all. And let me go ahead and put a, a carriage return there so they're going to be on two separate lines. So I'm not going to worry about adjusting anything right now. I'm going to load it into the project. and now I have my label and like I said I'm not going to worry about adjusting anything yet because we're not finished with this. So the problem is we don't have a label category that we can get to and the reason we don't have a label category that we can get to is because it is a family parameter. So we're going to have to change that. So I'm going to go to the manage tab of the ribbon go to shared parameters and we're going to create a new parameter called label. And it is text. And then I'm going to go into my project parameters and I'm going to add this shared label or shared parameter, excuse me called label and I'm going to assign it to the type of object I want it to be assigned to which is electrical fixtures and go OK and go OK. Now next up we're actually going to edit the electrical fixture itself and we have a parameter in here called label and we're going to have to delete that parameter. So I'm going to delete the parameter and I know it's being used by a couple things and I'll have to add those things back. So now I'm going to create a new parameter and it's going to be that shared parameter called label and let me put it in the other category so it'll be where it was before and it's going to be an um, type parameter so I'm good with that 
So now we have a label here and I uh, might as well move it up. Now for my standard receptacle I'm not going to have one but for my GFCI I'm going to have GFCI. Now I also since I'm here and changing these I'm going to change it so I'm only defaulting to the horizontal version of these and go OK. Now so we're not done yet we have the horizontal and vertical version here that is tied to that label and we need to recreate it being tied to that label so I'm in the horizontal version and this is the data that's coming from that particular symbolic family and we want to tie it to label in here and I want to do the same thing for the vertical version I want to tie it to label here now I'm going to load this into a project and overwrite my existing one and it should have not changed anything so I should be able to come into here and turn on either horizontal or vertical or both and in this case I'm going to turn them back off now when we were in parameters I don't know if you noticed but let me go back there and point it out I'm going to go to a project parameter and in shared parameters here and I'm not going to actually add it again but it says can be shared by multiple projects and families now if it was a project parameter the parameter would be there when it came into this project if it's a family parameter you could put data in it preloaded but if you want to be able to do both and have it appear in a tag it has to be a shared parameter which is why we made label a shared parameter so now we're going to go back and edit our label or our tag I should say now in the tag before when we went to edit it we could not find a label so I'm going to scroll down and we still don't see a label but I've got this guy right here add a parameter and it will allow me to add a shared parameter which I'm now going to do so now I have label here I'm going to add it over here and move it to the top and while I'm in here I'm going to start doing some more realistic things so, so that the text that's out there will be a little more realistic and I want to break between each one of them that looks good I think I'm happy with this so let me go OK here now the only problem is we have it this is a, a tag that has both a boxed version and a non boxed version so in the box version I'm gonna need to adjust my box so that it will accommodate this new information so now I've adjusted my box I want to load it back into the project project one and override and now my label in either the boxed version or I can change it to the standard version the non boxed version has the type of duplex receptacle it is in this case the GFCI PP1 which is the panel it's off of and circuit 1 and we have the ultimate flexibility to move it around we can even um, have a leader go to it and adjust that leader so we can be very very flexible in how we point out what this particular receptacle is this has been another presentation in the series of four minute Fridays from TPM my name is Bruce Harris and I want to thank you for joining us and invite you to come back and watch again thank you